Here in Bakersfield, we keep our horses at home. They're in a dry paddock that is about 40 by 60 feet. The rainfall in this part of California is anywhere between five and seven inches. We're in kind of a drought right now, but that's usually about the average. Often our rain comes in spurts. The paddocks can usually tolerate about a quarter to a half an inch of rain a day for three or four days. After that, they begin to puddle. Our last rain brought over an inch of rain in a day and a half, and the paddocks flooded. I've done a couple of things to try and keep the paddocks from flooding, like adding French drains or pumping, even pumping the water out. I even brought in some decomposed granite. The decomposed granite worked well. It packed down really nice and created a high spot so the horses could stand. But the little pieces also had sharp edges and when they'd lay down, they would get cuts on their legs. A few weeks ago, we were riding through the stables and there was a truck dumping some river sand at the stable. They used the sand in their stall. Figuring if it was good enough for the stables, it was good enough for us, I ordered a truckload of sand to be brought in here. I spread 25 tons of sand over two pens and I was feeling pretty proud of myself that I'd solved the problem. Four weeks later, you guessed it, Scratch was at the vet with sand collar. It's frustrating. As often happens, you try to solve one problem and you create another one. Scratch is much better. We treated him for the colic with psyllium husk and he got some mineral oil. We bought bigger feeders and put mats down to try and keep the sand out of their feed. And I think we're on the right track now. I try to keep my horses as comfortable as possible, but sometimes Crap just happens. I try to learn and observe what other people are doing and then incorporate it in my own program. Sometimes that's gonna work, sometimes it's not. When it doesn't work, you just learn as much as you can and then move on. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate you being out there. I hope to see you out on the trail. Until next time, go have some fun with your horses. Bye bye everybody.